Slowly. Oh my God, babe. Do not open your eyes. Babe, I'm going. What Keep is this? your eyes closed. Oh I am your guide. Baby, baby, baby. Trust what me. What are you? Trust me. Do you, do you trust me or not? I trust you. But... You trust me, right? Mm -hmm. Keep those eyes closed. Oh my God. Keep them I closed. Keep them closed. Okay, I trust you. Right. Well. Now. Mm -hmm. Open sesame. What are we what are we celebrating? Um <gasps> my love, I, I I I love you. I have loved you from the very first moment I set my eyes on you. Um It's been an honor having you as a girlfriend, and I, I hope that you will do me the honor of being my wife for the rest of. Yes, our yes, yes, babe. Yes. Put that ring on it. Oh, baby, come here. Oh my God. <laughs> You're shaking. Like, why are you shaking? Um. I'm scared. I'm scared. You know, um, the age difference between both of us. I mean, look at me and. No, 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 stop. You are the sweetest, most loving, kindest, most supporting man I've ever known. And I love you just the way you are. Okay? Okay, now you have to tell me how did you do this? Actually, the culprit was supposed to be here taking pictures of us in this moment. So that's <laughs> Susan. Susan is the culprit. Uh, Susan. I don't know where she is. Congratulations, sis. Talk of the devil. I beg, I beg, I beg. What? You did not say yes. Actually, she did. Where are you? I mean, you just lost this priceless moment. You missed it. Where's the photographer? I'm right here. Are you kidding? Thank you for a wonderful job, for putting all this together. No worries. Of course, you asked and I had to do it. You still haven't answered me. Darling, I am sorry. I was... Okay, Did you that's... invite no, no, someone No, 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 no. That's not my plan. <laughs> Babe, you, you too. I don't trust No, no, no. I have, I have nothing to do with this. Let me see. Is. Oh, I'm coming, babe. We're going. No, no, no we no, need no. to know who's at the door. Oh, I, well, it's just as much a surprise to me as it is to you. <laughs> okay. What surprise do you have? This now, has babe? nothing to do with me. What she is my you? surprise. That's what I don't know who this was. What that surprise is. If not, <laughs> I don't trust I'll, you. Kusi. 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 I like that. Um. <coughs> yes, <Yeah>, so. Um. <laughs> what? I. I know that this is not how you picture this moment. <gasps> but I promise you, Kusi, I can do better. I will. Will you be mine for it? Yes! Yes! Oh my god, this is... This is more than enough! <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. It's fine. I was, I was, I was dreaming. I, Look, I, thought, I thought I saw. You're still in shock. You need you okay. need to get some rest, okay? I was dreaming. I, you proposed? Yes, and you said yes. yes. Okay. Okay, oh my goodness, I thought I saw. Um, Chris. 
You know, it's crazy. I, I thought I saw him on our on our doorstep. Yes, he was. What? Yes. Where is he? Look, I told him to wait. Where is he? Wait, wait, I need wait. To wait. Talk to you him. need to. Kosi, Kosi, wait, Kosi. Kosi! Kosi! How? How are you alive? It's been years! I have been looking for you. Looking for me? It's been three years! I thought you were dead! I forgot everything. Uh, but bit by bit, I started to recall my name, my family. Your face. <clears throat> well, the doctor suggests you both see a therapist. I don't need a therapist. I need to understand how is it that you're alive? It's been three years. How are you here? I must have been thrown out of the bus. I was found on the other side of the road. I lost so much blood the doctors thought i wouldn't make it well chris yes. chris right yes um maybe we should continue this conversation some other time there's obviously a lot to take in at one i'm very sorry i didn't mean to i didn't know you both were married it's fine still i will just go wait 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 where are you going I don't know. I, I can't. Why don't you just stay here? Here? You have a place in the big queue. Here? Yes, I mean, it's obvious he has nowhere to go and... Uh, I mean, you can stay as well, Suzanne. No, no, it's, it's fine. I'm, I'm sure I can find my way home. No, 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 no. You don't have to risk it if you don't have to, okay? Okay, uh, so Chris, I'll show you to the big queue. Actually, why don't I do that? Um, whilst you get to go see. All right. Yeah. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I feel like I'm dreaming. You're still in shock. I should have... I should have looked for him. I should have been sure he wasn't dead. I... People were trapped in the bus and died in the fire. There's no way you could have known that. Why did you ask him to stay? Like I said before, he didn't look like he had anywhere to go to. And you know that how? Did he tell you that? You told me that he has no family. Only God knows where he's been for the past three years. I mean, the least we could do is make sure he's all right before sending him off. And the best thing is to stay here and not a hotel. A hotel will still have to pay for. Why are you so comfortable with him staying here? Why? We are now engaged. And he knows it. Even though his mind, you had something in the past, whatever it is, it's gone. Even though to him it might seem like just yesterday. There's my baby. It's okay. I mean, it's not much, but he's got a bathroom at least. And if you need anything to eat, I could get you something. Thank you. I'm sorry. You must have had such high hopes coming back for Kosi. But if you don't mind me asking, where have you been all this while? I woke up in a hospital after three months with no recollection of who I was. After the hospital discharged me, I was left to fend for myself. 
So how did you compensate them? Because you and I know healthcare isn't free in this country. They would have let me die if not for a kind nurse mm. who instructed them to take care of me as a family member. Lucky you. I mean, I'm happy you're alive, even though you don't exactly remember me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm, I'm Susan, by the way. Cosi's friend. Well, more like a sister, because we've known each other since primary school. Oh, I'm Chris. <laughs> I'm aware of that. What I do not know, however, is what you plan to do now. <sighs> anyway, um, if you need anything whilst I'm here, I am glad to help. Thank you again. Yeah. Where are you going? You scared me. Jeez. What are, what are you doing here? I slept here. Remember? Oh. But you still have not answered my question. I... I... I I'm, I'm... I'm going to see Chris. Hmm. What? Nothing. So what's that look? Does Fadi know you're sneaking off? I'm not sneaking out. I just see. Listen, he's sleeping and I don't want to wake him up. I just need to talk to Chris. I need answers. And I'm sure you do. And you should. Get all the answers you need to properly close that chapter of your life. Anyway, I'm off. Oh. Well, I'll, I'll see you off. <laughs> Okay. I regained my memory only to find out that my fiance is engaged to another man. How do you think I feel? I meant I'm fine. Did you sleep well? Is that all you came here to ask me? I just can't believe you're standing in front of me. Does this help? What happened? Where were you? Why didn't we know you were alive? The man that must have found me, he took me to a different hospital. Months after I'd woken up from the coma, he was kind enough to take me in with his family. They didn't have much, but I had all I needed. And why did you come here? To Fadi's house? I went to your house to look for you. But I was told you don't live there anymore. Luckily for me, I was given a forwarding address. How long have you been with I struggled. Okay, I struggled for a long time without you. I mean, yes, we weren't married, but it was still very painful knowing I had lost you, or at least I thought I did. Fadi has been there for me since the accident. I was transferred to a hospital in town and he paid for everything. He's been there for my family and I. So you love him because of that? I love him because he's a good man. He makes me feel safe and secure. You never struck me as someone who 
was going to end up loving an old man. Fadi is old, but he's not that old. Kusi. Do you still love me? What do you want me to say? I don't want to complicate things. Please. So you moved on? How long was I supposed to wait? 10 years? 15? 20? You didn't find a body. You didn't even bother coming to look for me. The bus was burnt beyond recognition. No one survived. It was just me, the driver, and a little girl. I'm lucky to be alive. Oh. So I'm the unlucky one. You moved on with your life so easily and it just seems like I've lost everything. Kosi! 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 Uh, hi, honey. Hi. Hi. Uh, where were you? I went to see Susan off. Oh, she's left already? Yes, she has. And uh, Chris, have you seen her? He's fine. He's so grateful that you let him stay. Although... I'm Don't tell me you're still having second thoughts or uncomfortable about him being here. Babe, I'll be lying if I say I wasn't. You know, I think you should let me do the worrying instead of you overthinking. Hmm? After all, uh, I mean, what's been happening for the past few hours has been very stressful. Sure. <laughs> you know, um... Maybe you should stay at home, you know, call off sick and um, maybe see the therapist. I don't need a therapist. Babe, I know culturally it's a no-no, but I think it helps a lot to talk about your feelings. I know. Babe, I've been through counselling. Right now I just think I need to process things myself. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'll go make breakfast. Oh, good. Okay. Um, Make sure you let Chris know as well, because uh, let him join us. I'm sure he's hungry as well. Sure. Okay. So, Chris. I hope you had a comfortable night. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, please don't call me, sir. Call me Fadi. Okay. Chris has told me really amazing things about you. She did? Yes, and we're very glad that you are well. I'm alive, but I can't say that I have fully recovered. The doctor said that it would take a while for me to remember everything. I still have moments where I blank out. Well, that can't be good. But I was able to remember Cosi. So I guess I'm making progress. <clears throat> so, um... Chris, will you be staying in town? Staying in a familiar place would allow me to remember certain things. Before. What about work? Weren't you working? Um, while I was with the family, I was doing some minimal jobs, but nothing worth returning to. Tell you what, why don't you... I mean, you're under no pressure whatsoever to move out so you can... I mean, the guest room is free anyway. <laughs> Thank you very much. How can I say no to such a generous offer? Thank you, sir. 
I'm sorry, Fadi. I'm grateful. Anytime. Well, that time has come for me to go to work. Oh. Thank you, my darling, for a wonderful breakfast. Yes. Hi. Excuse me. Hello? Is he still there? Yes, he is. So what you plan to do? I don't know. I'm just... Do you know Fadi has given him an indefinite permission to stay? Wow. He must really trust you. What does that mean? Okay. Maybe Fadi is doing the keep your friends close but your enemies closer strategy. Wait, you think Fadi is threatened by him? Who wouldn't? God, honestly, I'm suffocating just being in the presence of him. Both of them. Kosi, give it time. Your ex just came back from the dead. No one is expecting you to know what to do. Just come and see me if you need to get away, okay? All right, bye. Uh, that was Susan. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry about it. What can I do to help? Nothing. I've got it. Look, I'm sorry about Elia. I didn't mean to sound so cold. Why did you agree to stay? Listen, once I'm able to leave, I will leave. Hmm. Cozy. I want to be happy for you. But all of this is unexpected for me. For us. You're right. He seems like a nice guy. Well, I hope we can be friends. Of course. Um, we can start over as friends. Chris, who asked you to wash the car? I just thought I'd do something to show appreciation for everything. Nobody told you to wash the car. You don't have to do this. <laughs> it's not much of a bother for me, sir. Call me sir one more time. I'm sorry, Fadi. Ah, yes, that reminds me. Uh, I noticed you've been wearing the same thing since you got here. So um, why don't you take this and buy clothes and toiletries for yourself? Thank you. Thank you. That's uh, all right. Um, question, what were you doing before uh, the accident, labor-wise? I remember I was a graphics designer, but I'm not sure I know how to do that anymore. Besides, the industry must have changed. Fair enough. So do you have any other skills or are you amenable to learning new skills? Yes. I'm a fast learner. With proper training, I can do anything. Oh, good. Because I'm talking to your friends of mine to see if they can give you a job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't thank me yet. Just get your CV ready. And when it's all sorted out, you come and meet with it. How about the gap? I haven't had a white collar job in almost three years. Uh, let's not worry about that for now. Just get the CV ready. I will take it from there. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's okay. Um, so I'll leave you to it. Uh, I'll wait for you to finish. I'll, I'll be done. All right. right. Quickly, please. Thank you. Come in. I'm sorry to disturb you. It's fine. Uh, you don't work? I do. I just took the day off. Oh, okay. Um, mm. So I came here to ask for your help, but um, I'll just go. What so you... do you need help with? Um, your... Um, Fadi, 
gave me some money to buy new clothes and I was wondering if you could take me to a store where I could... Of course. I can do that. Are you sure? Yes. Just give me a second, I'll freshen up. Oh, right. Okay. Excuse me. Honey. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How was your day? It was good. How are you feeling? I'm fine. I'm good. You know, I took um, Chris shopping today. Ah. He told me you sent him some money. That was very thoughtful. Well, you know, I just noticed he had been wearing the same thing since he got here. I decided to do something about it. Wait, really? I didn't even notice. Well... I'm not surprised you had a lot of things on your mind. Well, <laughs> well how was work today? Hmm? Well, um, work was good. Work yeah. was good. Speaking of work, I'm thinking of getting Chris a job. Really? Yes, I mean, the, the quicker we can help him get on his feet, the better to be for him. Don't you think you're doing too much? You know, for someone who had a history with Chris, I would have thought you'd be more concerned about his work. I am, babe. I'm concerned. I just... I just feel... That let's just do it. Why? I mean, why are you being so nice to Chris, considering our history? Well, if I were to be hostile towards him, it would not... It would be understandable, but would it make things any better? I don't think so. I don't understand. Look. The quicker we get him on his feet and get himself figured out, the quicker he will become more independent and then he can move out. Look, I'm just giving the both of you time to get closure. That's all. Who are you? I mean, you are just unbelievable sometimes. It's like the heavens just opened up and sent me an angel. You're starting to make me blush. Stop it. I'll go make dinner. <laughs> Chris? Chris! 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 Kosi! Where did you go? I've been looking everywhere for you. I, 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 I got scared. I thought you blanked off and just wandered off. No, I went to the internet booth down the road. For what? I went to prepare my CV so I could give it to Fadi. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that, that's, that's fine. I, I didn't know you two had talked about that. Yeah, he came to see me and we had a conversation about it. Okay, well, how did he go? Not so great. I haven't done this in almost three years. Oh. Okay, you know, just come inside. Maybe I can help. Is there a reason you're looking for me in particular? Well, I... Okay, so I was on my way from work and I saw an ice cream shop we used to go. So, I popped in and bought your favorite. 
I'm sorry, I don't think I remember what Vanilla. That... He always liked it plain. Uh, that sounds sweet. Sure. So we're just coming. I'm sure when you taste it, you remember. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Honestly, not a lot has changed. Oh. Sorry, I have to take this. Sure. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm Oh, good. come on. I still know when you lie. What do you mean? That's what you do with your palm when you're lying. <sighs> I need money. What do you need money for? Are you in trouble? No. The call I got was from the man I was staying with. Okay, well, is he all right? Remember I told you they're not financially Buoyant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, well, what does he need money for? <clears throat> so he had to have his appendix removed. Oh and they're God. not willing to discharge him. They've even stopped giving him medication for the pain. That is just torture. No, I, I just wish I could help. Okay, well, how much for his expenses? About a millionaire. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Yeah. Uh, I can ask Fadi when he comes back. Uh, no, no, please don't. I don't want him to feel like I'm taking advantage. But you need the money, right? Okay. If you're going to ask him, please don't make it look like I'm the one asking. Fine. I won't. Just cheer up. Right? <laughs> uh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, so, um, yeah. <sighs> Cheer up, all right? I'm good. Babe? Mm -hmm. Um, I, I need a favor. What is it? I have a friend that's in a dire situation. What kind of situation? Is your friend okay? Well, she's sick. And she needs about a million naira to sort out the hospital bills. I, she called me crying. I just felt so bad. What's wrong with her? Well, she has to have her appendix removed. That sounds serious. Yeah. Is she okay? Besides the need for cash, she should be fine. Well, it's all right then. Um, is there anything I can do? I mean, I could help. Well, of course, babe, that would be... I would be so grateful. I mean, right now, I only have half of that to give. Okay. I'll see if I can put something into it tomorrow morning. Thank you, babe. Mm. Hi. 
How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Um, thanks for yesterday. I was able to give Fadi my CV this morning, oh. and he was really impressed. That's good. Not a problem. Um, I came to give you this. Okay. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Well, ask and it shall be given. So. I, I don't know what to say. It's Th nothing. Thank you. It's fine. You're welcome. Uh, anyway, I would be on my way to work now. If you need need anything, just text me, okay? Oh, would you mind if I join you so you can just stop me by the bank? Sure, uh, not a problem. Let me grab my wallet. I'll be waiting. <sighs> wow. <sighs> so, wait. Fun now. Oh. What do I owe this visit? I don't understand. Can't I come and visit my sis again? Well, you can, but you usually call. So what if I had someone over? <laughs> I'm praying for that day. Anyway, how's Fadi? He's good. He's all right. You know, he's trying to get Chris a job. Really? Wow. <laughs> Fadi has the purest heart ever. I know. You're so lucky to have met him. Well, that's still thanks to you. I did not do anything, no. I mean, he's the one that saw you and fell in love with you. Oh, well. Well, Fadi thinks that once... Once Chris gets a job, gets back on his feet, then he'll move out. And you don't think so? I just can't shake off this feeling about Chris. I, and right now, well, I'm just trying to help. And these feelings that you're trying to shake off. Don't say, say it like that. <clears throat> okay, I'll speak clearly then. Do you still have feelings for Chris? Are you going to break up with Fadi and go back to him? It's something I still need to think about. You have to think about it. Like, there's even a decision to be made. Chris needed some money the other time, and I have to lie to Fadi to get it. What? Yes. Why would you do that? Because it was a lot of money, and Chris thought Fadi would, you know, be suspicious. Because this is what I'm talking about. What if Fadi finds out? He won't. You can't tell him. Kosti, let me give you an advice. You desperately need to draw the line between your past and your present. I mean, this is all Chris. Why would he just show up and then now this guy is just confusing my life? Then you things. better send him packing, oh. Don't say I didn't tell you. But the Kosti that I know, I know you'll do the exact opposite of okay. everything I've said. Kill. What can I offer you? <sighs> Hi, my love. Babe. Hi. How are you? Oh, yeah. I'm good. How are you? My day was great. And yours? It was lovely. I went to see Susan. Ah. Mm -hmm. So how is she? She's good. She will come see us by weekend. Mm. And um, your friend? Which friend? The friend who's sick. My. Oh, she's good. She the the surgery went well. She's recovering. That's great. Yes. <laughs> well, I have more good news for you. Okay. I might as well get Chris a job. Really? Well, nothing too fancy. Just a bookkeeping job at a friend's firm. No, that is amazing. You are amazing. Is that all? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't break my waist. Though. Don't break my waist. <laughs> Uh, I I came in earlier to check up on you, but you weren't in. Oh, yeah, I just came back from work. I've had a very long day. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, ever since you started this job, I hardly see you. 
Well, it's been very hectic, but I'm enjoying it. How are you? How is Fadi? I'm um, good. Fadi's Fadi's good. Um, he traveled. He'll be back soon. Awesome. Speaking of which, I've been meaning to see both of you. I want to discuss something. Okay, what's up? Well, um, I would be moving out. I have a stable job now, and I can afford a place. Oh, oh wow! That's uh, congratulations. You don't seem pleased. I thought that was part of the plan. What? Of course, I'm good. I'm fine. It's it's good. It's a, it's, a, it's a good thing. Um, if you need help, I could you know help you with moving your stuff. I don't have much, so I'm fine. Wow. Okay. That's great. Let, let me know if you if you need help, or you could just invite me over. Of course. Um, you're always invited. Okay. Oh, invitation accepted. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I'll just let you go. Bye. Oh, okay. Bye. Wow. Welcome. <laughs> this is lovely. Uh, thank you. I like what you've done to the place. Well, I can't take credit for everything. It came furnished. Oh, really? Yes. Well, most of it. Oh, well, it's lovely still. How are you settling in? Are you comfortable? Um, it gets lonely, but I'm good. Well, I'm sure the perfect person would come soon. The perfect person? You know, this place is actually close to where you proposed to me. By the poolside. You don't remember? I do, but not vividly. Okay, well, should we drive by? Just maybe it'll jog your memory. I think it's a good reason that I don't remember it. Why would you say that? That was one of our happiest moments. Are you trying to rub this in my face? Rub what? The perfect person, that you're not the perfect person for me. Oh, please. You speak about our happiest moments. That includes you. That's about both of us. I didn't come here to fight. Why did you come? To see your house. Why, Kosi? Does Fadi even know you're here? Why? Why are you making it seem like, I, I, like, like I'm doing something wrong? Look, I know that I do not remember everything, but I know what I feel for you. It was strong. Well, well, what, well what I felt, my feeling for you died died with you. It's dead and gone. I'm not dead. Well, that doesn't change anything for me. You're lying. And you know that how? Stop. You kissed me. That proves that you were lying. You just kissed me. And you Kissed me back. What is wrong with you? You know if Fanny finds out about this, all this is gone. You want to risk? <coughs> Who is that? You know, maybe I should just. Who is it? Honey. Hello. <laughs> mm. So I was eager for my return. Well, I just couldn't help it. Come. How was your trip? My trip was good. Yes. Good, 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 good. <sighs> wow. Mm. And you? How was your day? Uh, same old. It was okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, um... Did you do anything interesting today? Nope. Nothing at all. Same old, same old. Are you sure? Yes, babe. Mm. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Everything is okay? Yes. Why are you so concerned? Well, because you um, usually go out of way to call extra things when you're stressed or worried about something. Well, I'm fine. All right? You should eat. Uh, just this one. You know, I don't eat that much. Ugh. Oh, my bad. Uh, 
it. Swear, yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh. I wanted to talk to you about something. Is everything okay? Hmm. It's it's about Chris. Does it have anything to do with Chris earlier today? Are you keeping tabs on me? I just don't think you should be going there alone. Huh. Well, it's obvious you don't even trust me. Look, my dear. I know with Chris gone, you might feel a little uneasy. But I don't want you to feel you've lost him just because he no longer lives here. Well, I don't feel like that. I don't feel like I've lost anything because Chris is not here. Today was just the first time I went to see him since he moved out. So there's nothing for you to worry about. What are you doing here? I came to see you and Kosi now. Kosi just left for your place. Maybe we missed each other. Let me call her. She's not picking up. Maybe she's driving. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Are you certain? Yes. Yeah. Or did Kosi tell you something else? You will tell me if she told you something. Me, I don't know anything. But it's just that the, the other day she was having mixed feelings. Mixed feelings about what? Fad, it's not my place to talk about this. Please, why don't you have a conversation with Kosi? Susan. You tell me if everything is okay. Kosi has not been entirely honest with me. Well, she still has feelings for Chris. I'm sure you're aware of this. Where are you going? Susan, do not interrupt me. Father, where are you going? I need to know. I am going to get my fiance. But do you know where she is? I think I have a pretty good idea where she is. Susan, I've been trying to call you. Well, I came to see you. Why? I, I, I thought we agreed to meet up at your place. Why are you coming from, Kosi? I just said I'm coming from Susan's place. Oh, she called your phone switched off. Why does it sound like I'm being interrogated? I think I'm just going to go and let you two talk things over. I'll call you later. I'll call you later. Are you going to talk to me now? How long have you been seeing Chris? What? How long, Kosi? I'm not seeing him. I just... Okay, I went to see him one time, but I haven't seen him since then. He took money from me and lied to me was for a friend. A female friend. Wait, Susan told you this? She didn't have to tell me anything. So you're sending a private investigator after me? It doesn't matter where the pictures came from. What matters is the story these pictures are trying to tell. That what? That I'm cheating on you with Chris. I am not accusing you of anything. What I want is to understand what it is you want. I want peace, Paddy. Peace of mind so you can stop bringing down my neck. I understand you trying to make sense of Chris coming back into your butt. I also want you to understand we are engaged to be married. And you think I don't know that? Then why are you putting yourself in a compromising position with him? Let me remind you, you let him into this house. Why are you making it seem like I did something wrong? Is there a justifiable reason for this? Even if there is, 
I won't stand here and explain myself to you. You can go on and believe whatever the hell you want to believe. Where are you going, Kosi? Kosi! Is everything all right? Cozy. Can I please spend the night here? Yeah, sure, but why? We had a fight. Fadi and I. <clears throat> he thinks I'm getting too close to you or that I'm cheating on him. <laughs> but that's not true. Why didn't you tell him that? Besides, you haven't spoken to me since the day I kissed you. Because he might be right. I do have feelings for you. So maybe that makes me a cheat. So what are you going to do now? Move in with me? I don't have anywhere else to go. My parents don't live in Lagos. They live in Enugu. I can't even tell them about Fadi. I feel indebted to him. What about Susan? You know, I think she told Fadi that I have feelings for you. So right now she's cancelled. You know what? You're welcome to stay. Boy, promise me you have to chill. Thank you. You can have the bedroom. I'll sleep on the sofa and... No, no, I, 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 I don't want to... No, 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 no. You're not imposing anything. Mm -hmm. I just think that you need all the privacy you can get and I do not want to invade. Yes? I'm, I'm sorry, did I wake you up? Uh, you promised you would stop crying. Yeah, of course. Um, I'll just go to bed now. Cousin, if you really miss him, then go back to I him. I don't want to do that. Would you rather he comes to beg? Even if he begs, I will not. Okay. I will allow you to get some rest. Good night. Chris. What is it?
finally he returns. Okay. Hey. It took so long that uh, food was getting cold. Okay, that was thoughtful. <laughs> this looks really good. Oh. You're welcome. What's, what's wrong? Is everything alright? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I just... I'm, I'm fine. I had to improvise with what was in the kitchen and then I came up with this. Kosi, something tells me you're lying. What's up? Fadi hasn't called me since I left his place. Oh, okay. I thought you didn't want to speak to him again. I was upset. Well, maybe he's probably upset too. I mean, with the given circumstances. Wait, um... Uh, besides... Uh, how he feels shouldn't bother you anymore, right? Yeah. I was just worried. About him? No, no, no. Um, about the situation, I just... Well, I, I, I fear he might retaliate. He's been so good to me, and he might just take your job. Then let him take it. I don't care. Besides, I have my foot in the door now, and with the experience I have, I can get another job. Right. What are you doing here? You stopped calling. Why? What are you talking about? I haven't heard from you in days. I was worried. You asked for space. I gave you all the space you needed. Well, I found out you were investigating me. Those pictures came from an anonymous source. I would never do anything like that. You, on the other hand, have not been entirely honest with me. Okay, fine. You're right. I need time. All right, I, I need time to figure out what I want my future to look like. And if Chris is part of that future, I'm very happy for you. You're not upset? Of a nice young man? This has nothing to do with age. He was your first love. Listen, I don't want you to feel obligated to me for anything. Do you understand? I enjoyed every moment of my life with you. And I'll always love you. I'm sorry. I pray he looks after you well. If you want anything at all, I'll always be here for you. Hello? Susan, I've been trying to reach you. I'm so sorry. Sorry is not going to cut it. Secretary just called me now. There's no one at the, at, at the office to set up for the conference call. I know how important this is. I'm sorry, sir. I, I'm just really tied up at the moment. What's going on? My friend, she was involved in an accident and I had to rush down to the hospital. All right, calm down. Calm down. How much do they need? Which hospital? 
All right, I'll make my way as soon as I can. Thank you so much for having my friend transfer. Well, there's no way I could ignore a call for help. I'm always here. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. So, how is she? Um, she'll be fine. I mean, she's actually very, very fortunate to have escaped with a minor injury. Okay. Um, but she'll fully recover. See? There's nothing to worry about. Yeah. Yeah. When is she likely to be discharged? We could keep her till the end of the week, but um, I would strongly recommend that she goes home to family. Oh, God. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, her friend lost her fiance in the accident, so she's still grieving about it. I completely understand. I, I know that it's um, a very painful time, which is also why I am suggesting that you take her back home. I mean, where she would not um, feel depressed. Okay. Yeah, and I would also strongly recommend that she, she go through therapy. Well, not a problem. I'll take care of all that. Um, so, where do we take care of the bills? Oh, no, at the reception. Reception? Yes, please. All right. No problem. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Call me Friday. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, doctor. You're very welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, Susan, yes. you have a good time here. Yeah? Thank you. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. No, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Welcome. Well, I thought to bring this for you. I just thought to stop by at the uh, shop and get you something. I hope you don't mind. It's thoughtful. Thank you. I don't even know what to say. I mean, you've been so nice to Susan and I. Thank you. Um, how's your wrist? Uh, it's getting better. At least I can move it. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I still have nightmares. The therapy isn't working? It is. It is. I mean, I was even advised to go to my old place, but I don't think I can. You have to face your fear so you can move on. Yeah. If you <laughs> need someone to go with you, I can make myself available. Oh, yes, please. I, I don't mind. I would love that. Then we'll go. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope I can also find something doing. Just keep my mind busy. Like work? Yeah. I've been trying to get a job to no avail. <laughs> you could have told me. I'm part of a business hub. Oh. It's a group of business owners and managers. I'm, I mean, I could look in for a job opening for you. Really? That, that, that's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> you know, if you keep smiling like that, I'll be very tempted to open a job myself <laughs> and make you work for me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is so thoughtful. Well, it's my pleasure. Thanks. Um, my love, I, I, I love you. I have loved you from the very first moment I set my eyes on you. Um, it's been an honor having you as a girlfriend, and I, I hope that you will do me the honor of being my wife for the rest of. Yes, our yes, yes, babe. Yes. That ring on it. Oh, baby, come here. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, hey. Where are you coming from? Um, is there something you want to talk to me about? Kosi, where exactly are you coming from? 
I, I went to see Fadi. I, I, I was worried and I, I went to see him. You went to see Fadi? Is this a game to you? Chris, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. One minute you're with me, the next minute I you're with him. I was worried. Worried? Yes. So the next time you will worry, you will run back to him. Chris, what? Kosi, did you sleep with him? What? No. Oh. So you gave him a goodbye kiss? What has come over you? Answer the bloody question! You know, if you want me to leave, just say and stop asking me stupid questions. Kosi, come back here. You think I'm a fool? You, you think I'm a fool? What has come over him? Is he acting crazy? <sighs> Hello, Susan. Ha. Huh. I thought you were still angry at me. Oh, I am. I told you not to tell Fadi anything. Why did you tell him? Kosi, I care about the both of you. And I wouldn't want to see anyone get hurt. That was why I did it. Well, Fadi and I are over. So you moved out then? That's a bold step. Just hope I haven't missed things. So. Never seen Chris the way I did tonight. What are you talking about? I mean, usually he comes home late, right? Today, he decided to come early, but I had gone to see Fadi. And when getting home, it was like he was waiting for me. You do not like confrontation. And you go and do something like this. How did you expect him to react? But I just went to return the ring. I... I didn't do anything. I needed to have seen Chris. I was so scared. So it's official then. Honestly, I don't even know if Chris is the same person. Well, I guess that's what you're about to find out. You need to be sure that your feelings for him are genuine. Yeah, yeah, I know. Have a nice day at work. Who's that? Listen, it's nobody. I will speak to you later. Who was that? None of your business. Well, aren't you going to work today? No. Why? I need a break. A break? Does this have anything to do with our fight last night? Of course it doesn't. But you still sound upset. Chris, come on. We literally just got back together. You can't expect we start like this. Of course you enjoy the day. Chris. Chris! Waiting long? Mm, uh, not really, but I mean, I should have called. I wanted it to be a surprise visit. Well, I know why exactly you're here. You came tell here to me. check up on me, and I am fine. I can tell you're fine, but I just wanted to make what? This was your plan. Yeah, yeah. If I told you, you'd have got no, Susan. Don't bother. No, Susan, it's not necessary. So here I am. But really. <laughs> It really isn't necessary. Uh, but I don't know what's going on between you and Kosi to affect our relationship. True that. Before Kosi, there was you. Exactly. So. Ah. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. 
Here you go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> so, how's business? Mm, it's good. Uh, but it's been a whole lot busier since I dabbled into wedding planning. But That's nice. That means you're upgrading. Yes, but I'm just doing it for the money. Money's well, good too. Yes, but passion? Now, that's more rewarding. Mm, I agree. So, how are you doing with Kosigon? Well, um... It's not like it's the first fulfilled relationship I've been in, so I'm fine. It's just that, um, you know, be hoping this will be the one. But you shouldn't give up on finding love again. No, 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 I haven't. I'm just taking time out to put myself together again. Yeah. If you need any help putting yourself back together, I'm just a phone call away. Um, have you heard from Kosi lately? She's exploring with Chris. You know you should get him fired for playing a fast one on you. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about Kosi and Chris. I'm here to look after you. <laughs> I didn't realize I needed looking after. Um, Susan, what are you doing? Are you alright? Well, I figured with Kosi out of the picture we could Weed. In case you haven't noticed, I have feelings for you. I've always had feelings for you. I... I never knew you had feelings for me. Well, now you know. And we both know I'm more loyal than she is. <sighs> Susan, I appreciate everything you have done for me. I, I do not want your appreciation. I want your affection. Your affection. I don't even know what she's saying, Kosi, anyway. After all you did for her, all she did was rub your generosity back in your face. Kosi and I were in love. There is love and there is compassion. What you both had was sympathetic pity. She had just lost her fiancé and you were there for her. Susa, stop it. But I'm saying the truth. You will speak your truth elsewhere because I'm done with this conversation. <gasps> I need you to leave, Susan. Fatty. I need you to leave. Let me go! Get my bag. Take it. Oh, finally. Hello, Susan. Girl, I have been trying to reach you for the longest. You're not picking, you're not returning my calls. Are you okay? We'll see what you want. Are you sure you're okay? Look, I don't have time to listen to your complaints today. Okay, well, I was just worried I needed someone to talk to. You know, I was really sad when Chris came. I was very sad when Chris came and Right now, I feel like I've messed up. I, I, I feel like I made a very big mistake leaving Fadi. You were with Fadi out of gratitude, and now you're with Chris out of guilt. Do you even know what love is? Oh, so you, you know what love is? Well, I know I'll do anything for love. Okay, well, Susan, just please help me out here. What would you do if you were in my shoes? I am not in your shoes, Kosi. And you cannot take my answer as your own. Yes, but I... Did she just hang up on me? Kind of... Chris? Wait, 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 wait. Who, who are you? Why would you just barge into someone's house? This is not your house. Well, I don't think it's your house either. Who are you? When does Chris get back from work? I'm not answering any question from you until you tell me who you are. 
Well, I am Chris's girlfriend. What? Yasmin, what are you doing here? So you actually moved in with her? I was going to tell you. When? After both of you had gotten married? You deserve an explanation. I... I... Was, this is the family you moved in with after your consciousness. Right? I didn't know how to tell you I was another woman. Oh, it must have been so difficult. What else are you lying about? Nothing. Are you sure you even lost your memory? Yes. I swear. I couldn't remember anything. You told me you were coming back here because you remembered something. Not because you were planning to get back with your fiancé. Easy. Just take it easy, okay? Yeah. Easy. Are you comfortable? Um, thank you. My my name. Your name? Do do you remember your name? Yes. Chris. Wow! <laughs> you remember your name? That's the only name in my head. Then maybe that's your name. You know what? That's a good start. Okay? If you remember anything else, just tell me, okay? Yes. Jesus Christ, Chris, Chris, are you okay? Your head, okay, good. Go 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 Let me just get you painkillers, okay? Come here. Okay now. Yeah, I, I'm fine. I just remembered something. What do you remember? I remember a house. A house. You called me Kosi the other time. Is this someone you know? I'm not sure. I, I think I should go to Abuja tomorrow. Find out who Kosi is. Alone? I should come with you, you know. No, oh, babe. I can't take you away from your job now. And how about your own job? Uh -uh. Who's going to miss a brick layer? I'll just be away for it. Just for some time. What if you have a relapse? I have your number. If that happens, I promise I will call you. I don't think it's a good idea. No. I, I, I just feel I should come with you. No. You know? Babe. I'm sure if I embark on this journey, it will jog my memory, make me remember certain things. Just go back to bed. I sleep. <sighs> Sorry. 
So this was the reason you came back here. So all this while you said you were still searching for answers. You were really with her. I was such a fool. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Do you know how guilty I felt? I was beating myself up thinking I had moved on too quickly. What is... Wait. It was her you were sending money to? Oh! Oh my god. You really thought you could pay me with her money? No amount of money can make up for the last three years. How cruel could you be? How cruel could you be? These pictures, was it part of your plan to make Fadi think not to trust me? That wasn't me. It wasn't you. Who was it? Because Fadi says it wasn't him either. It was Susan. What? What do you mean Susan? What does Susan have to do with this? You know, you could try to get her back. I mean, that's if you still love her. What do you mean? The cosy that I know is probably confused and feeling guilty right now. So, you could try to win her over and, you know. But you and I both know that she's engaged to him. And she clearly loves him. But a broken engagement is better than a broken marriage. And I could help you. I mean, we're meant to be in-laws anyway. Why would you want to help me? Let's say I want the other half of the puzzle. Susan is in love with Fadi. She said she met him first. <laughs> Can you imagine? Stay out of this, you dead Chris! Now me, they follow talk like that! Relax, 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 relax. Relax or what? I go break your head, na na na, and I go swam back. I go make sure you leave mark for this your face. For you will ever forget again. Don't touch me. Relax. Don't touch me. Relax, please. This is who you ended up with. Both of you, enough. Yes, enough. Enough. Enough is enough. You know what? I'm happy this happened. Get up to me. What do I owe this pleasure? Fadi is clearly not home, so what are you doing here? Uh, shouldn't I be asking you that? Didn't you guys break up? Are you mad? Have you lost your mind? Wait, did you come here to insult me? Come where? What kind of sick game are you playing? So. It was you sending those pictures of Chris and I to Fadi. Oh, Chris told you? You planned all this. No, sis. Call me sis one more time. Err, uh, don't put this on me. Everything that happened was solely on you. I did not tell you to go and see Chris behind Fadi's back. Neither did I tell you to break up with him. You did Chris! You did Chris! You did Chris! Suzanne, how did you get inside here? Remember you, you gave me your key before? I, I made this pair. I can't believe this. I thought I told you I do not ever want to see you in here again. I've been waiting for you to come back. You know how I feel about you. 
are you what? Can you stop? Can you stop it? Susanna. I need you to get out of my house now. And I mean it. You don't want to see the other side of me if you remain here. Now please get out. Keys. Why did you come here? I messed up. I messed up, Fadi. What happened with Chris? He lied. He lied to me. You were right. What happened? He has another woman in his life. And he lied about Staying with some family. And he told me that he was scared to ask you for money and he made me promise not to tell you. So I made up the story about my friend. Kusi, you know I would never ever judge you or Chris if you came to me for help. Yes, I know. I know. And I'm sorry. So, because things didn't work out with you and Chris, you said to get back together with me. My decision to come back here is not because things went bad. I knew returning that ring was the biggest mistake of my life. And I'm sorry, Fatty. This was supposed to be us. Kosi, you and me, to get married one day. I'm not immune to heartbreak, you know. I know I have broken your trust. It's easy for me to forgive you. But taking you back will take more than just saying sorry. Then I will spend the rest of my life proving to you. I love you. And it surpasses gratitude. I'm sorry, Fadi. Please. Please. I never stopped loving you. You take me back. Thank <laughs> you. 